Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. I've always maintained on this platform that politics is a very interesting game. And politics is also a very dirty game. Raila Amolo Odinga was in Kakamega County today. And I'm going to do a comprehensive analysis of Raila Odinga's trip to the larger Western Kenya region for Azimio La Umoja. But behind the scenes, the person who ought to have been in Kakamega or in the larger Western Kenya region this week was none other than President Uhuru Mugai Kenyatta. But President Uhuru Kenyatta's trip to the region was thwarted by ANC party leader Musalia Mdavadi and Ford Kenya leader Moses Wetangula. So in this video today, which I'm going to try to be very brief, I want us to look at the reasons why Musalia Mdavadi and Moses Wetangula thwarted that trip by the president. Remember, President Ru Kenyatta was initially scheduled to tour the larger Western Kenya region in uh, on first, was it first or second of August? But that trip was also thwarted. And then a new date was fixed, which was supposed to be this week. But because of disagreements, that trip was cancelled at last minute. But before we get into all those details, for those who are watching this channel for the first time, I want you to take a second or two and click the subscribe button so that next time you produce a video like this, YouTube will automatically notify you. And to the subscribers, I want to continue thanking you guys for your continued support. And by the way, for those who are planning to install solar system in their homes, Power Africa Solar has high quality solar system and their qualities are actually better than the bulk of solar system which you find flooding the market in this country. So you can visit their website powerafricasolar.com they have offices in the United States of America. They have offices in Nairobi and in Kisumu. So just go to their website, then you can contact them through those contacts which are provided there. Now let us get back to business and I want to try to be very brief today. Raila Odinga was in Kakamega. And for those who followed that event, I didn't follow it very closely, but briefly. For those who followed that, that event, majority of uh, allies of uh, Musalem Davadi and Moses Wetangula were absent. The truth of the matter is that President Ruru Mugai Kenyatta was supposed to be in Kakamega County this week. And because these leaders thwarted the trip by the president, Raila Molo Dinga and his brigades decided to organize the Azimio La Umoja in Western Kenya, which in my view was a success. The question is, why would Muslim Davadi and Moses Wetangula thwart a presidential trip? Remember, the people of the larger Mount Kenya, Western Kenya region, especially their leadership, have always accused Raila Mulodinga of taking all the development projects in Nyanza. So what Raila Odinga did, he went and talked to the governors from that region, and they met with the president. And the president agreed that he was going to visit, but these guys thought it. Now, why were they thwarting it? Five reasons or six. Number one, Muslim Davadi and Moses Wetangula gave President Ru Kenyatta one demand. That if you want to come to the larger Western Kenya region, please come, but minus Raila Amolo Odinga. Remember the last time President Ru Kenyatta went to Ukambani, Raila Molo Dinga was present and Kanozo Musioka was not very happy. So Musalem Davadi and Moses Wetangula knew so well that Raila Molo Dinga was going to make an appearance in the larger Western Kenya with President Uhuru Mugai Kenyatta. Because if you look at those who are organizing this meeting, the governors, there was Oparanya, who is an ally of President of uh, Raila Dinga, there was Otichi the Ofega, another ally of Raila Dinga, then there was 
So Peter Ojama Ojamong of Busia, another ally of Raila Odinga, and then there was the Bungoma governor, Wycliffe Wangamati, another ally of Raila Odinga. And these are the guys who are going to organize this trip. So Musa Wetangula and Mudavadi believed strongly that the trip was being organized by Raila Odinga under the pretext of these governors. So they made demands to the president that as much as you want to come, come, but do not come with Raila Odinga. And the president was also not willing to go to the Raja Western Kenya region minus Raila Odinga because these governors were rooting for Raila Odinga to be also present. If you follow politics, the same script is actually what happened when the president visited Ukambani and uh, Alfred Mutua, who played a key role in that, because in Ukambani, the governors there, none of them is supporting, uh, apart from Gilu, is supporting Kalonzo Mosioka. So they didn't want a situation where Raila Odinga goes to Western Kenya with the president, then when the crowd will be there, Raila Odinga probably would garner more support from the crowd than themselves. So that's the first reason why they thwarted that trip. The second reason why they thwarted the trip was the fact that that trip was being organized by the governors. And most of these governors don't have time for them. Or even if they have time for them, they are not really their party members. You go to Kakamega, who is the governor of Paranya? Oparanya is an ODM member. You go to Vihiga, who is the governor? Otichilo, another ODM governor. You go to Busia, who is the governor? Ojamong, another ally of Raila Molodinga. You go to Bungoma, who is the governor? Wangamati. Wangamati belongs to Fort Kenya. But Wangamati is in a fight, major political fight, against Moses Wetangola. So basically it means that these governors are going to organize this event and probably Weta and Mudavadi were just going to be there. And the fact that they were the people organizing this trip, it means they were going to play like a secondary role. Instead of them being the leaders, you know what they want is a situation where the president comes to Western Kenya, but perceptionally the people who invited the president were not these governors, were themselves. In Ukambani, that's exactly what happened. President Ru Kenyatta went there under the invitation of the governors. But Kalonzo Musioka is the main guy down there. So Kalonzo Musioka's allies were not very pleased by the fact that the governors organized this event and Kalonzo was kind of playing second field. In fact, there were some points where Kalonzo Musioka would even, even the sitting arrangement would be placed very far. So these guys were not happy that this event was being organized by the governors. And all these governors are actually allied to Raila Amolodinga. Number three, they were not happy because of the perceived endorsement of Raila Amolodinga. You know, there's a lot of pressure for President Ru Kenyatta to make a public endorsement of Raila Amolodinga. Now, President Ru Kenyatta invited these two gentlemen were Tadungula, Mudavadi, and of course there was also Oparanya to Mombasa. And he told them that I want you guys to support Raila Morodinga. But for political reasons, these gentlemen are still not very, very are still not willing to support Raila Morodinga for the presidency. So their fear, which in my view is also justified, is that if Raila Odinga were to go to Western Kenya with President Rukinyata, and the crowd are there, these guys are seated here. What do you think stops President Rukinyata from standing up Raila Morodinga and raising his hands before the people and telling them that support this guy? And again, if you look at protocol, it would have dictated that Raila Odinga would sit there, President Rukinyata would sit there, governors would speak, then invite Weta, then invite uh, Mudavadi, then Mudavadi would hand over microphone probably to someone, then Raila Odinga will speak after they shall have spoken. Which means if there's any issue they raised, then Raila Odinga can actually respond to those issues. And the president was going to speak last. Which means if the president wanted to, to endorse Raila Odinga, he would do that. And because they fear 
that direct endorsement. They were not ready for the president to go to the larger Western Kenya region. Unless they will be told that come for a meeting, we organize this trip, but you Weta and you Mudavadi, you are going to take the leading role. Number number five, number four, sorry, is that these guys want to take credit for the president trip. The governors down there also want to take the credit for the president trip. The president was going to go to the larger Western Kenya in Kakamega and he was going to unveil massive development project for the, for the region. Then who was going to take credit? Was it Raila Odinga? Was it the governors who invited him? Or was it Weta and Mundavadi? That's the issue. Who was going to take credit for the projects which the president was going to unveil? And because President Uru Kenyatta was not ready for that fight, he said, let us hide. Because we are under the COVID, let us hide. Then probably we'll organize another date. But the truth is, nobody was willing just to accept the president come, go without them taking credit for the projects. Number five, you know, politics is very funny and very dirty. President Ruki Nyata decided that he was going to go regionally to launch massive projects. He began with Nyanza, and massive projects were actually launched. The president went to Kambani, he launched projects in Kambani. Then it was the turn of the larger Western Kenya region. Then during that visit, the president was also going to launch some projects. But you see, politically, it's easier for Mudafadi, Weta, and their allies, the way they've been doing, to accuse Raila Moludinga of blocking development projects in, less, in Western Kenya. Or they wanted to accuse Raila Odinga of using his influence to only benefit the people of Nyanza. So if the president had come and launched some of these projects, it would have meant that they would not have the platform to accuse Raila Amolodinga. And therefore, they can't blame Raila. They, they were not going to blame Raila Odinga. Like if the president went and they took charge and then the president even failed to, to address some of the issues like the sugar and the rest, then it means in the next funeral, their allies would not blame Raila Amolodinga. But because of politics, they still want to blame Raila Molodinga. They had to thwart this event. And lastly, there was this story of Musalia Mdavadi working with the deputy president, William Ruto. The presence of Malala is something which presence of Malala In Naivasha, when the DP was in Naivasha with the Hasla nation, Malala was there, he was spotted there. Basically meant that Muslim Mdavadi was present. And because politics is interesting, there was no way President Duke Nyata was going to allow Muslim Mdavadi, who is perceived to be working close with the Ruto and frustrating the One Kenya Alliance movement, to take charge of that event. Because Mdavadi wants to take charge of the event, Unless they verify that Muslim Davadi is no longer working with the DP. I don't know what you think, but in my view, those were the main reasons why Musalia Davadi and Moses Wetangola decided to thwart President Uru Kenyatta's visit to the larger Western Kenya region. Thank you guys and please may you have a good day. Tomorrow, I'll do a comprehensive analysis on President Uru Kenyatta's, I mean, on uh, Raila Odinga's visit to Kakamega. What it means for the ODM party. And I'll take a keen look on the people who are present and even the crowd and the body language and the messages. Until that time, it is Lee McQueen. But don't forget to check out PowerAfricaSolar.com for all your power, solar power system in Africa, in Kenya, to be precise. Bye-bye.